Hey everybody, guess what? We are back online here at Taterland, and boy, this is uh, this actually worked out really, really well. Can I show you guys something? Yep, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. It is a gloriously warm day here outside of Sholo, Arizona at 7,000 feet. Yes, we are not even in summer yet. And today is the hottest day of the year here at my property. It is 93 degrees before the start of summer. Usually up here at high elevation, it's, you know, we're not gonna hit 100 degrees, but it's usually not this hot. I believe today we are breaking a record set back in 1992. <laughs> so it's warm. And these panels, these 3,000 watts of panels here are working. I'm going to show you how I've upgraded my battery capabilities here at camp. Uh, I will be uploading this video with some connected internet. Feel free to check out the video description below and get your hands on some high-speed mobile remote internet that you can take with you on the road. Also, we are leaving this week on the road. So it's a good thing that we got back online here at Taterland. Let me take you on inside to Babe the Blue Box. Actually first, if you guys missed my video from one week ago today, we had a problem. Um, I have a 48 volt off-grid system in here and one of my Redodo batteries, one cell inside one of the batteries had went out and that messed up the whole system. So being as I'm a 48 volt system, that means I have to put my batteries in series, my 12 volt batteries to get to 48 volts. There's no other way around it because my inverter charger is built that way. It can't do 24 volts or 12 volts or 36 volts for that matter. So that's why I've been offline and had to wait till I had four batteries. But actually, let me, in full transparency, I reached out to a company that had a brand new technology lithium battery that I was very, very interested in because it solves another problem of mine. And that problem is when I leave for the winter here, in a shed that houses all of my security cameras, my, my internet, and my batteries, those batteries, those lithium batteries cannot freeze. And so I was going through an entire 120 gallon propane tank every month, December, January, February, $350 every month to refill this thing, to have my little gas heater in here set to 52 degrees Fahrenheit just to keep the batteries alive because they, once the sun comes up, they cannot charge when they are freezing in here. So this, this shed could not freeze. However, now there's something new, guys. Let me show you. And well, these are the batteries, guys. Man, they are sexy. It's like Harley orange and blue. I've got four of them in series. Uh, but first of all, so the company, Tem got batteries reached out to me and they said uh we have something brand new brand i mean it's literally within the last month you've probably not even heard of this but a self-heating battery that's that's right guys this uh it actually has a bms for low temperature cutoff but the bms has a self-heating 10 amp feature and what that does is when these batteries internally reach a temperature of 32 degrees right at 32 degrees the bms kicks on and self heats these batteries from either within the battery itself or if there's solar coming in it takes the first 10 amps and starts heating this battery it will heat the battery until it reaches 41 degrees then it'll turn off the heating function and put that other 10 amps back into charging each battery and their cell individually it's completely automatic then if it, it starts dropping again under 41 down to 30 32 as soon as it hits 32 the bms kicks right back in and starts heating the battery battery back up to 41 degrees again. Perfect timing, but this technology simply was not available last fall. It was not an option for me. So with that being said, I do not need to insulate this shed right this second. These batteries will do just fine all winter without me with their self-heating feature. 
Only problem was uh, the company and I could only come to an agreement for two of their batteries. They are still very, very affordable, but they wanted to send me two batteries to review. And as soon as I got the two batteries, I realized that, oh crud, these are 12 volt batteries. There's no way to get two of these to work in my 48 volt system. So unfortunately, I had these two when my main system went down. And then I purchased two more out of pocket, the same exact ones. And that took about five days, delivered Amazon with free shipping. Really good price on these two. I'm gonna go over a couple specs, but first of all, price wise on Amazon, and there's actually gonna be an even better deal in the video description below than what I paid. But right now, these 300 amp hour batteries, so these are three times the capacity of one Battleborn lithium battery that they charge like a thousand dollars for I've done it before so I know a thousand dollars for 100 amp hours this is seven hundred dollars for 300 amp hours with self heating built in with a display on every single battery the displays have an automatic turn off feature when they're in standby mode so you just click the buttons we'll turn all four of these on here real quick and then we'll come back to the first battery in series here and look at this display. It shows you everything. There's a percentage, 100%. It says we're in standby mode, which means no power is being pulled off these batteries right now. We are using the full capability of the solar and inverter to heat my hot tub, which I'll show you in a minute. Up here is the current, which obviously is at zero right now. Voltage, 14.14. It has the temperature of the battery, 78 degrees. It has the time to empty, which is unlimited right now, but once we start drawing off them, that'll change. Each battery shows exactly the same stats, which is so cool to just look and see right here. Also, throughout the menu system, if we go to page two, we get a little bit more information talking about discharge and charging, how many cycles you can see. I've only done one cycle on these batteries so far. And then page three, the most important of all, look at this. We can monitor all four lithium cells within this one battery. There is an automatic equalizer balancer built into the BMS that takes all of these batteries, all four cells in this one will be equalized and balanced with all four cells of all the other batteries in series, which has never been the case. And that's why it's just so exciting. This fixes so many problems that I had with my other batteries. Just perfect. And if you're within Bluetooth reach, and all four batteries have their own Bluetooth capabilities with a smartphone app from Temgot where you can monitor what's going, everything that we just saw in those readouts you can look at right from your phone. I mean, like literally, I, I cannot believe that they have packed this much into a lithium battery. It is everything I've ever wanted. And that rarely happens with technology where you say there's just, there's this and there's this, but there's just not the right cop. These batteries have everything I need in a lithium battery off grid. Going back to the fact that we are in 100% standby with zero current being drawn off these, that means that I'm not even cycling the batteries right now with up here, you can see we're at 56.1 or 56.0 volts on my batteries, still bringing in solar. And the entire amount of solar that I have outside right now, it is bypassing the batteries completely and inverting them right into the hot tub right now. Which as I mentioned in an earlier video, we do not often use this as a hot tub, but right now we're using the pump, the filter and the heater. We're up to 95 degrees. We're gonna get this up to 104 degrees by nightfall tonight. So right now this is pulling the maximum 1350 watts off of my system without even touching the batteries. Simply using the solar that we're getting right this second and bypassing the batteries, keeping them in standby, which reduces cycles, meaning less wear and tear on the lithium batteries. Some people had said that they thought I killed my other batteries or, or battery issue because I was pulling so much with an air conditioner on my RV or, or with the hot tub and stuff like that. And again, here's just your proof. We're not touching the batteries all day. From 10 a.m. until 6 p.m., these batteries stay floating and completely unused on my system. And then at night, I'm really only drawing a couple things because 
I flip my 50 amp breaker from my RV off. I'm not drawing any power from these batteries from my RV. And then the 15 amp one here, I just simply go turn the heater off on the hot tub and run just the filter. And then I have my internet and my security. Less than 200 watts overnight. And I'm also gonna show you that tonight once we get to past 10 p.m. just to see as these come down and what they draw and, and how that works. But I woke up in the morning this morning and they were down to 89% and back up to 100% before noon today. I also just wanna point out that Temgot has great customer service. I just had a couple quick questions and uh, within 24 hours, they had forwarded my technical question to someone who could answer it very easily. So these batteries come with a five year warranty. Each battery themselves can draw up to 2,560 watts of load power per battery. They are rated for 5,000 cycles. Again, each one with a built in 200 amp BMS with high temperature cutoffs, low temperature cutoffs, of course the self-heating feature and the remote viewing from your phone on the app. At literally a fraction of the price of other higher named you know, batteries that maybe we've all heard of and, and they simply don't do nearly the amount of stuff that these do. So it's like, we're starting to get that point where, you know, some brands aren't pulling their prices down and then other brands enter the market and they've got all these features that we need that we can't get from other brands. And it's like, it's like a no brainer now, you know? And although I am gonna be continuing to give you guys an update, I am incredibly, incredibly impressed with these batteries. I just don't think I can do any better right now. Um, I'm invested. I've, I've spent $1,400 uh, in the other two um, and I appreciate the brand working with me. Again, if you are interested, check out the video description below. We're gonna have a promo code below for a really good, a better deal than I got on these guys. So thank you Temgot for introducing me to your batteries so that I can share these batteries with my viewers. They're gonna help me. And um, yeah, let's continue to uh, pack up. Oh, looks like Diana's in the hot tub over there, 95 degrees, enjoying it. So uh, yeah, we're. We're looking good. Let me pack up a few things. I'll get back to you Wednesday with a few more updates on cooling here at Taterland. The gates working perfectly out there. Not a single uninvited guest has shown up to the property here since I put that gate up. It's great. It's wonderful. And uh, yeah, I'll cut back in tonight and show you what's going on. All right, so it's uh, just after 10 p.m. here, and I just want to show how everything's working. This number's pretty normal, 53.1. That is the voltage of all four batteries connected in a 48 volt system. I would rather see a percentage, but what's really cool is that now with the batteries individually in their own displays, I get to see the percentage. And look, all three batteries say they're at 93% discharging. 93%, 93%, 93%. In fact, you can go through here, and again, you can see on page three, all three cells are all at 3324. But I love physically seeing that and all the voltage, 13.29, 13.28, 13.28, 13.28. They are perfectly balanced. All four, eight, 12, 16 lithium cells are equalized and balanced and I get a percentage and it's just so much cleaner and so much easier to understand these batteries. There's also some other information here. Time to empty 75 hours. Now it went up to 83 hours. So with current conditions, that being my internet, my security, and currently I'm running the filter pump on the hot tub. It depends on what I really wanna run. This 15 amp breaker right here is the GFCI out that goes to the hot tub. So for heating that in the daytime, un unlimited, you know, but you know, you got to turn the heater off on that. And then the 50 amp here is actually for my RV. If I want to give extra juice in the daytime when I'm unlimited, I can flip that up and give the RV some extra juice. But um, I'm, I'm understanding this system a lot better and I just love how clean and organized everything is and being able to see exactly what each battery is doing constantly. So it works good.